Hi, um, this is Linda Little Bear, and I'm going to interview somebody who's going to be running for Sheriff of? Maybe. Maybe. Humboldt County, Nevada. Um, in a few years, the next election cycle, after we've moved there and been there for a couple years, um, I don't really want to run for Sheriff, but there's an awful lot of corruption in the Sheriff's Department, and I honestly feel it'd be my civic duty, even though I really want to do other things, but, uh, and I would run a constitutional county. And, and I'd like to show you her shirt, just I'm not trying to, guys, uh, but she said the Founding Fathers have awakened, and they want their country back. And, and her and I have been having a wonderful conversation. She's off the grid living where she'll be in Nevada. And uh, for my friends there, I, I hope that you will vote for her because that's all you talk about. And you also have an arms manufacturing company, if you tell us about that. Well, for the last uh, 21 years, I have been uh, designing and manufacturing small arms, mostly civilian copies of military stuff. Uh, but now I'm getting into doing stuff that we're going to offer to the military. And the company is ValkyrieArms.com. V-A-L-K-Y-R-I-E-A-R-M-S dot com and named after the Norse demigoddesses. <laughs> okay, now here's my question. Would the civilian population be able to buy the stuff that's mili like the military? Oh, every, yeah, everything I have I make so far, unless it's a dealer sample machine gun, is, is for the civilian market. Okay. Um, because I think we should be just as equipped as the military. I think we ought to be better equipped. But well, that's thank my you. Personal thank, thing. Well, that's mine too. Because number one, I, I, uh, the fact that uh, the federal government is military militarizing the our police and county bothers me. Because if a sheriff needs an MRAP to do his job, he's not doing his job right. And you know about the MRAP in this county, right? Yep. Yep. I think we discussed that earlier. I'm going to go to the meeting. Monday night, and I'm I, because I'm done. Huh? And, uh, and well, years ago we had a uh, Independence. We used to have Independence Day parties at our place every year, and we invited the sheriff and the local police. And sheriff showed up for a few minutes, and I had a 20 millimeter Lottie semi-automatic cannon sitting in my living room. And he asked me what I had that for, and I said, well, that's in case somebody puts an armored personnel carrier in my driveway, and I don't want it there. And then he realized I wasn't kidding. <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. Um, I, it has been a pleasure talking with you. I'm going to put you on YouTube. I'm going to promote you. I'm going to ask all my friends, well, thank especially you. those in Nevada and in the maybe the Colorado area, if you please share this video. Oh, they will absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, yep. Yeah. Um, and and your website again. Give us it one more time. Valkyriearms.com. V-A-L-K-Y-R-I-E Arms.com. And uh, you guys know who I am, and I'm going to tell you it's been a pleasure. I've talked to her twice today, and it's been wonderful because we're just talking about living free the way we're supposed to. Absolutely. And uh, that's what we've got to do, and I'm going to promote her. And if she becomes sheriff, I'm moving to Nevada. <laughs> so um, I'm going to close this now, and I'm going to... I'm going to let people remix this to get you out there sure. on YouTube, if well, that's okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. That's, uh, it was been fun, and thank you very much. Okay, and I appreciate you letting me interview you. And uh, I'll tell you my, what my channel is after we get off here. All right. All right.